welcome back to Rachel Bella Crafts. I hope you're well. So I am back today with a Friday freebie for you. Um, what I have done today is a page of um, little fussy cuts for you, a couple of labels. Um, I've included some um, faux old tape. Um, I have put in some different elements, botanical, vintage, and then I've put in some other little bits and pieces that I would consider perhaps to be shabby chic or a bit of uh, steampunk. Um, we've got a selection of butterflies, some more plants again to go with the botanical. Um, and I'm going to show you what I'm going to be doing with um, these fuzzy cuts today. So bring these. You'll find this uh, freebie in our coffee page. I will put the link in the description box down below. You can go and download that for free. Friday freebie, obviously it's free. Um, and you will also need some of your master boards. So let's get cracking. Okay, so what I thought we'd do today, I really want to get um to have a go with working with some of the photographs out of the kits. So I was looking at um these squares that I had cut the other night, and I was thinking, oh, you know, what can I do with these? Um, because they're quite a few cut this size, but I've picked up um, some of the different because the other master board I did had some lighter colours to it but each and every one that you cut out obviously needs to have different um, you know different aspects to it doesn't it so I'm kind of pulling out the ones that um, are drawing me at the moment because I like the colours um, I like that one I just need to re-glue that and perhaps that one's quite the time so we'll, we'll take, grab those few mills we'll see how we get on um, but what I thought we would do is to have a play with um, some of the photographs because the kits that we're working with, there's loads of photos in there. Um, the one kit, the Welsh vintage kit, has got lots of um, uh, Welsh uh, photograph ephemera, um, what are they called? Portraits, sorry, that's what I'm looking for, uh, cabinet cards. Um, and the, the Taylor kit, the family kit, I believe there's some in that one as well. Um, Sorry, I was just gluing that down. I'm just trying not to get all of my fingers. There we go. Right. So, but in the um, Welsh Vintage kit as well, there are also a great big selection of frames. Because um, I did actually ask my design team when I was putting this kit together, what sort of things do you think people would find useful? If they're going to be making an album or something like that, or a, a scrapbook of family photographs. And one of the girls said, well, some frames would be helpful right I was like oh actually that's a really good idea because <laughs> I haven't thought of that um so what I thought we'd do is take the frames take some photographs obviously if you're working with your own photos great grab those preferably not the originals though obviously you know how to get copies of those and we'll use the master boards and we'll make little journal cards with photos on because very often I see when people are making scrapbooks especially if you're making a journal with somebody and they always say oh you know I got photos left over what shall I do with them so this is a nice little project of just something that we can mix it up with. So I have already fussy cut some of my uh, freebie images and I thought we'd have a little look and see what kind of um, looks we can go for with it. So I've got a couple of different types of frames here. So I would say that one's probably more botanically theme. So I might perhaps put that one with that background there. That's definitely vintage. It's vintage all day long, isn't it? Yeah. So we've got that one there. Um, what are our other styles? Well, we've got shabby chic. Well, that's quite shabby chic, isn't it? Because it's got lots of, you know, um, ornate over the topness. Um, and maybe that's a bit of shabby chic or vintage. Oh, that one there. Now, that's definitely shabby chic, isn't it? Definitely, definitely. So if I pick one of those, perhaps that one. And maybe we'll pop that one on there then. Um, and then what other one have I not got? So I've got a botanical, I've got a shabby chic, I've got a uh, vintage. What should I go for that for vintage? I quite like that. I like that the the, 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 the gilt in around the edge. Um, and steampunk, of course. And I've got that one, that dark one there. So perhaps we'll use that one for the steampunk. Which one should we put that on? Let's put that on there for the time being. Right, so let's just do the four. Let's not get over overwhelmed. Um, right, move that one away for a minute. Put that up there. So I have got, like I say, a selection of different bits and pieces here, elements and things, which I thought we could use to kind of create a bit of a story of the person. So obviously when we make our scrapbooks today, we tend to put photographs in the scrapbooks and then we'll put things on the page with them that'll show perhaps a little bit about person or their interests or you know if it's day out if it's a holiday one all that kind of stuff so um you know we can do the same thing now with these and give the same information by using 
fussy cats elements and different things that show their interest. So we'll have to find a way now to try and reflect all of these different um, styles now as well. And um, by the way, have you been following our Show Some Style collaboration? Let me just show you the square. Did I not forget? Oh my goodness, everything's falling over. Right, we are here. Now, sadly, I have got some sad news. Caroline is quite poorly again. She's actually been taken back into hospital today. Um, I haven't seen her video go up. I'm not quite sure if it will go up. Um, I did think it was going to go up because I thought she'd done it a little while ago, but I'm not quite sure and I haven't seen it so far. I may have just missed it though. Um, but yeah, she, she is in hospital. She is quite poorly. So um, we really would appreciate your thoughts uh, for her. Um, prior to Caroline, we've had all of these amazing people. Melina's put her video up now as well. That was brilliant. So I hope you've been checking out and following along with everybody. And guys, don't forget to leave them all a like and a comment. Um, and if you're not yet subscribed, consider subscribing to their channels. Because obviously our collabs are um, designed for us to support um, all of these fabulous new... Well, they're not new. Some of them are new. But they may be new to you, um, YouTubers and artists. So... You know, it's good to show them your support um, and encourage them because they do put a lot of work into their collaboration videos. <laughs> a heck of a lot. And I know a lot of them get quite nervous about it. And um, yeah, even the pros. <laughs> it's, it's, it, it quite amazes you, but they just put their heart and soul into it. So um, please, you know, make sure you take the time to just acknowledge all the work they put in to bring it together for you. Right, shabby chic. Who are we going to go with for shabby chic? Let's have a couple of ladies here. I'm thinking, let's not pop her in there because that's a nice small one. We cut that one down. So let me just double check on that shape there. And we'll try and get those to fit in. Oh my goodness, I'm so relieved we're at the weekend. I don't know if you've got anything nice planned for yours. I'm off to Swansea tomorrow. I'll take number two back to uni for the final two. Oh my gosh, I can't believe we're here already. It doesn't feel like yesterday we were packing him up and taking him off on his exciting adventure. And here we are now for the final term of the year. Um, exam term. Oh, nerves are abounding. I'm sure it'll all be fine. Uh, but they've had focus rain again tomorrow. I don't know what it is. Every time I make the drive to Swansea, lemon rains. And I was so excited when he moved down because he's right by the sea. Like, literally, his campus is called Bay Campus, and it's literally right on the front by the seaside. Uh, they've even got their own beach there. And I'm yet to be able to go and have an enjoyable walk <laughs> and enjoy that lovely seaside. But never mind. Never mind. Summer will be here soon, I hope. We do keep telling us it's on its way. Right, there we go. I think I'm just going to nick the corners of that, because I think that will just look a little bit better in there with those corners nicked rather than it being severe squares, you know. It's funny because years ago, I can remember my grandmother's photo albums. Her photos always had this shape to them. And I could never understand why. And I think it was just the way they were popped into the albums. Um, I'm going to glue that straight down now. No dithering. Nope, nope, nope. Now, shabby chic. So remind me, what does it say for shabby chic? Um, we want soft things. We want... Um, Flowers, vintage flowers, we want vintage sewing, household items, materials such as lace, fabric scraps, floral patterns to create a romantic worn look. Right, I'm leaving that off the thing in front of me. Um, so, shabby chic. I was thinking, I don't know if that's going to go now, that pink flower. I don't know, it might. Let me just ink it up a bit. I think it's just a bit too, you know, new looking. Let's make it look a little bit older. But... I try, was trying to give you a bit of a selection of uh, images to work with. I think it might actually be this background. I wonder if I turn that around as we cover that over. And I was, what I was about to say was I think we're going to have to put some lace on here. Oh, it was exciting. I missed playing with my lace. Right, what have I got in front of me here? Um, and perhaps being shabby chic, but vintage, it doesn't need to be like, you know, new stuff bright and clean sorry i'm rummaging in my little bird catcher thing so let's see how we can pop that behind i wonder if i oops, 
one get rid of that behind there and then I'll cut that rough edge off the top and I'm going to layer that on there or maybe the other way around would be better I can't cut it till I decide if we pop it like that let's have the edge of the card there we are and I'm going to layer her on top layer that on there like that um, do we want to put this on there? I don't know I know it doesn't look really old, but we want it to feel shabby shicky, don't we? So I think that will tell us then that she was a seamstress, don't you think? Um, where are my woods? Um, let's pop love on there, I think. That's a very shabby shicky word, isn't it? This doesn't have to be, you know, overly elaborate. Um, right, let's just cut that. Cut that down. And let's just take that rough edge off because that's annoying me a bit. I may just put the edge of it on there, actually. I don't know if I want to put that whole long bit. Let me just have a look. If we just put that there like that, I will cut it in half. Or maybe we just have an edge. I know what we're going to do. Hi, girl. I am going to cut this right down now. Cut, cut, cut. This is what happens when you put yourself under pressure to just make decisions. Is that the right way around now? Yeah, it is. Okay, let's cut that flush. Let's glue it down before I change my mind. I just want to cover that green I do because that green was lovely, but it was it was meant to be for the um steampunk not for shabby chic yeah it's those that bit of blue and those little roses we want isn't that yes we don't need any fake pewter here no 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 we do not right let's pop this down there we go pop that there Very nice. And then I'm thinking, thinking, think, think, that I may add a little bit. Um, got a bit bigger than that. Here. Pop that there like that. Let's pop that then. Which way up do we want that? Like so. And then that on top of that. Here or on top of there, maybe. Oh, that might be better on the top, and that'll just kind of soften that mannequin up. What are we thinking? Oh, yeah, let's just do it. I think it'll be fine. I think it'll be fine. Come on, Rachel, make some decisions. Be brave, be brave. I'm not fussy on the shape of that lace. I would have liked to have snipped into that, but I just don't want to be overly faffing. So let's just fold it a bit. Ooh. I'm all glued up now. Right. It's supposed to be clued up, Rachel, not glued up. No. Right. Okay. There we are. And then the flower. Apply here. Let's have it down just a smidgen so we can see the lace at the top and the bottom. And then... That lace then can sweep across there, like a bit like a scarf over her shoulder, so to speak. And then we'll put this lovely little label on the top. Yes. Telling us that she loved to sew. That's what that's encouraging the viewer to think, isn't it? She loves this. <laughs> now, where's my... What have I done with them? Names. Who is she? Who is she? All right, let's have a look. Um, well, she's not the barn, is she? No, my goodness. All right, um, I think they're a bit big though. So let's have a look. I don't want to make her the neighbour. She's certainly not the house of fairies. 
don't like it. I don't like people ones. Um, yeah, it's not my people ones. Where are my people ones? What have you done to them, Rachel? That's the other ones. Oh, so much of being organized, eh? Ah, here they are. Phew! Right, we've got sister, we have got father, cousin, we've got mam. Should we make somebody's mam? Yeah, why not? She can be mam. Which is not so far from the truth for me, because my mam loves chubby chic and she loves to sew. So, we will make this lady mam. There a minute, put that up there. Where are we going to put this? Down here or up there? I think up there. Oh, where did that go? <laughs> I need to cut that, then that's the, that's the closure on my um, <laughs> ephemera holder. See, that's the trouble when you make your ephemera holder look too nice. You start robbing the bits and pieces off there. There we go. There we are. That blue has been a bit messy. And there we are. I think that looks fabulous. Right, on to the next one. We'll have a good look at them all at the end. Right, what have we got here? So this is steampunk. Okay, think now. Steampunk head on there, Rachel. Just ink that edge because we don't want any pristine white edges coming through, do we? No. Thank you very much. Right, so maybe showing that one a bit more. Hmm. I wonder if perhaps we put it like that and then we can have that there and we got all that going on there, haven't we? Right, what have I cut out that's steampunk? Well, we've got um, Right, now I'm going to make this a bit challenging for myself. Now I'm not going to do a man because that would just be too easy, wouldn't it? I'm going to put this lady in this frame for the steampunk because, I don't know if you've noticed, but she's got some an amazing chair behind her with some brilliant ironmongery on it. Um, and I just think it looks really cool. So I'm going to just try and cut her photo down now so she will fit inside of this frame. And um, then we will add some, I'm going to attempt to add some steampunk elements then to her. Um to indicate her interests. So, we'll see how we can make steampunk for a lady back in those days, which will be quite a challenge, I'm sure. So let me just cut down the edges of the picture, try not to take any of the, foot, the chair out. Okay, um, where's my other line? There it is there. Okay, if I put that too skinny now. That's okay. Oh, I need to take a bit off her dress, otherwise she's going to lose her head. Oh, don't mind that. Don't mind losing your head, love. No. Right. Let me just mark that. And then we will cut it down like so. It's not terribly straight, but that's okay. Chop the edges off. Nobody will notice. I don't think they'll mind anyway. Okay, yeah. Let's get that photo looking really like grungy and old now. There we go. Okay. And then she can sit in there. Perfect. There we are. And she can make it look industrial and metally with a rather fancy plush chair. Well, I don't think it was very plush, but I think it was. I don't know. I think it was quite. Um, didn't they used to say that things in the pictures with them were a bit of an indication of like who they are and their kind of, um, you know, their standing in society kind of thing? So if you're quite well off in these pictures, you know, you'd have things in the photos that would represent that and, you know, perhaps make you look old. Because I, I just noticed there's one picture here and there's a lady, she's got like these, they look like stuffed boots. So I don't know, she was either into entomology or she was... Um, <laughs> just a little bit unusual now she doesn't look like the kind of lady that would wear one of these steampunky corsets but i'm gonna go for it anyway have a bit of fun 
just because, well, why not? You know, I'm trying to bring the lady element in, aren't we? So um, I've also got one of these here, just in case there was ever any doubt that it was a steampunk feel thing. Um, what else have we got here? No, she could. She could be a music lover, I suppose. Um, what else can I put on there? I'm just trying to think a minute. I don't really want to put a sewing machine on there, which I know sounds ridiculous, but it also seems a bit obvious, but I don't know, maybe I, I need to. I'm not being funny, but oh, golly, there weren't many other options for them in those days, were there? Didn't have crafting in them days. It was just sewing, cooking, cleaning. That's probably the size I want, but it hasn't been fussy cut properly. Okay. Okay, this one's been done the crooked. You can tell there's all funny little strandy bits on there. Um, maybe I will be a little bit more subtle about the corset. I will have it just poking out. And then maybe we'll put that behind there like that. And then let me just ink this. I need to lean on something to do that. So pop it on like that. Oh. Helps you with inking the right side, Rach. That might make just a bit of difference. There we go. Okay. Not quite sure what's going on there. Just the funny way that the crickets cut it. But I'm just thinking if we pop that there then. Okay, um, let's go with that. Let's start with that layer there then. So, hmm, challenging, eh? Lady Steampunk. I'm going to put that there like that. And then hopefully, if I've judged that correctly, I think that could have come over a bit. There we go. And I'm going to have half in, half out. Photo on the top. Come on, ink that glue, don't fail me now. Pop that there. And then the sewing machine can then sit over the top. I'm just going to take that edge off there because I don't feel that that needs to be quite so sharp as that. There we go. And then let's get to gluing this, which will be fun. Here's all the little strandy bits. <laughs> Good old cricket, eh? I still find it funny talking about that cutting machine as a cricket. I had a doll called Cricket when I was a kid. I don't know if any of you remember the talking cricket doll. I'm not sure if I've mentioned it before, actually, or whether it was with kids I was telling. But I saw this doll when I was a kid, and she had like a cassette player in her back. And, um, she would talk, and when she talked, her eyes would move and, like, roll around, and, hey, I'm Cricket, that kind of a voice. And I think she had, like, a clubhouse or something, I remember. Um, and, like, she had legs and arms and everything, and blonde, curly hair. Um, oh, yeah, crazy, crazy thing. But I can remember when my cousin used to come and stay, um, she always used to have this fascination with this blimmin' doll, and I always used to be adamant that the thing had moved in the corner of the bedroom. Oh, it freaked me out. Then after that, then I wouldn't leave her in my room when I was, up, you know, at night. So she'd always have to be posted at the door. So very often, people would come upstairs and I'd be in bed. And they'd be like, Rich, why is this blooming doll on the landing? I'm like, leave her there. <laughs> She's not coming in. Leave her there. It's like anything. You stay here long enough, it moves, doesn't it? Of course, it does. It's me your eyes, I think. Swimming back and forth. Oh, she was terrible. My cousin was on time. She was a terrible wind-up. But yeah, no, she really had me going on there. I'm sure she moved, Rich. I'm sure she moved. And she didn't move. But yeah, no, so she got she got put outside then, Cricket did. I didn't mind her in the day, but not at night. No, not at night. All right, have we got a little bit of metal or something? Oh, we could put a key on there, couldn't we? That would be a bit more ladylike for her. And then we'll put that on there with the watches. Yes. Maybe we'll put that there, actually. Because I need to say who she is, don't I? And I'm going to put that little key there. Oh, I like this. I think this is rather nice. Now, what did I say about doing this the other day? Take off the glue. 
That's a good point, actually. Where are those? Oh, no, it has dried clear, look. It's all gone. Because I haven't touched them since. I haven't been in yet. So, right, we won't worry then. That's fine. It will eventually dry clear. Right, who is this lovely lady here then? She is going to be... We got Mamgi. Where's Mama? Um, I've done that one there. I no, oh, I did. I must have used grandmother, did I? And I must have. Oh no, there's Auntie. She can be Auntie. Right. She's gonna be a Welsh Auntie, so she can be an Auntie with a, an I. <laughs> yeah, my son's singing next door. You he's forgotten I'm videoing. <laughs> I had a little bit more time, I'd probably do a little bit of rough stitching over these because I think that would look quite good. But for now, so there we are. That's that one done. Number two. Right, what's next? Quickly plowing on now. Let's see how quickly get these last two done. Okay, so I'm thinking now. Let me just move the bits. Um, vintage. Right, vintage, vintage, vintage. Should we go with that? No, this one I think for vintage, isn't it? And who should we put in here? Um, I was kind of thinking um, vintage. Well, no, let's do botanical next because I know what I want to do for that one. It'll give me time to think of the other. I'd like to put her in there. She's lovely, isn't she? And I'd like to put those on there. Um, and the green butterfly um maybe those we'll keep that for vintage and that for vintage um what else have we got here i could cut out one of those plants i don't feel like i want to sit and do that right now though i think that'll be enough for, for her on this so let's get her cut out let's find her size let's just check how much of her i need to take away so for start, let's cut it square, just so I can see how much, yeah, it's not a lot, like is there, I might just need to trim down the outer bits, because I think that's near as down right there, and then width wise, if I go with the inner, yeah, I think that would be alright. Oh, maybe a bit more. Let's just check. Just do it a bit at a time. Hopefully then you prevent from chomping away too much. Because I've probably taken a tad more than I should have off the top. But that's okay. That's okay. Right, let's see if that fits. Just a bit more. She's always been there. Oh, I've forgotten to pinch my corners. Right, pinch the corners. Snip. 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 There we go. Blow her down. God, I remember to change that sponge. There we go. And into the middle she goes. Very nice. Right. Now, we've got a bit of shrubbery there, which I don't think I'm going to be able to show on either side. Have I ink this? Yeah, I don't know. Have I ink this? Probably not. I'll just go around the outside of that a second. There we go. Perhaps I'll put her that side because we've got a little bit of this going on here. Um, and then I'm thinking we could put maybe, oh, let's have, perhaps, the, oh no, that's going to go too shabby chic. No, 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 absolutely not. Let's put that like that. 
and then we have the flutter by at the top like so and then all we need to do then is put I think I'm going to put this date one on there because that's quite cute and it looks like um, somebody's handwriting in like a botanical journal doesn't it just put the date on there so what is the date 19 no something 85 can't be 1985 can it i think it just says may 14th 85 so i'm going to assume that that's 1885 because <laughs> i was here in 1985 <laughs> it doesn't come off a document that was around when i was around i ain't that old no right okay let's pop that down there Got stuff flying everywhere, it's all stuck on my fingers. Right, there we go. And then that one down there. That's the top, make sure we have glue on there. Yeah, I'm not overly worried about it um showing the five. And then that there. She's got a lovely plant with a behind lap. See the plant on the table in the photo? So that's what I've based my kind of assumptions that she's a plant lover and why she's gone in the botanical picture. And I'm going to put that beautiful butterfly up there. And then this cute little label can go just off to the side there. And then we'll decide who she is. Because she's got to have a label and she's got a name. Has to have a position in the family tree. Right, what do I do with them? Here they are. Okay, who have we got? Hmm, she can be either the niece, the niece or the Greg. I think we'll make her the niece. She looks a bit young to be the wife, doesn't she? Here we go. Oh, my eyes are stinging. My golly, I feel like I've been swimming. Okay. There. Very good, very good. Like it. Oh, love it. There we are. Gosh, look at these. They look great. Oh, I'm really pleased. Right. Vintage next. Right. What have we got left then for vintage? So we've got, we've got a letter. We've got a plaque. Hmm. Um. I'm just looking at the sheet, and I'm thinking. Um. Oh, I know. I know. Of course, I've got all this ephemera here as well. So should I need anything else? These are fussy cut by the side of me, but I think I'll be all right. So let's just make sure we've inked everything first. I'm gonna have to put some tape under that because that's torn behind, but it'll be all right. It'll be all right. Okay, and I'm gonna put this, this side, because that'll keep that I might cut that down actually, so we can see what's behind. Um, there we go. Yes, right. So that there, like that. Now, who's going in there? Are we going to do a man or a lady? It would be nice to have done all ladies actually. Yeah, look. What's she got on that picture with her? Looks like something's stuffed. Sounds like somebody's playing a banjo in the room next door. See, those kids don't have to torment me. Have we done this lady here? No, no, she definitely looks like Mamgi, but I haven't got Mamgi printed out. That's grandmother. Um, and these are a bit big, aren't they? Oh, come on, Rachel, you had made a decision. Let's go with this lady here. She'll be fine in there, won't she? Yeah, let's just trim her down. She'll be all right. You'll fit nicely, ma'am. Yes. Be a head and shoulders by the time we finish. Right, snip it, snip, snip, snip. <laughs> my eyes are starting to blur now. I need to be careful those scissors. <laughs> I'm taking off the edge of my finger one of these days. My goodness, oh, I'm so lazy. I'm my reading glasses next to me. Okay, let's glue this one on. Okie dokie. There we are. Oh, I can't wait to see what you all do with all these fussy cats and your. 
fluted frames. Right, so that's this lady on here. So she's going to be a, a, a musical writer, I think. So she's going to write letters and she's going to have postcards. Um, because it's vintage, I'm quite tempted to put a clock on there to show that it's like way, way back in time. Even though they're all vintage. I wonder if I've got a smaller one. Do I have that? Um, oh, put that there. I could put that behind. Perhaps like that. Yes, let's do that. Let's be brave. Let's just go for it. I'm going to have it all on the show, have we? No. Right, let's move that way. That way up in there. It's ten past two. Is that right? Yep. Yeah. And I'm going to just have that. It's just sticking out like that. So that'll be fine. Let's just plonk that down there. If I put this down quick now, I'll know then if I've got it in the right place. Dear, let's get you down there. Yeah. I could have done that coming a bit further. Oh wow, I was too slow. That's all right though. That's that's enough. It's, it's a bit on show. And then we got that there. So I don't want it to dominate. And then just make sure that's well inked. Oh, Nicky Nucky new. Rachel, less haste, more speed. There we go. There we go. And I'm thinking, oh, I should have put that one on me. I'm Del and I, Le Plant. That's what I did that one for. For the botanical orbs. Silly Billy. Oh, I'm going to be with. Okay, right. Let's pop this one on and I think I'm going to make this lady be the wife make her be the wife she'll have to be wife because it's the only word I got left Gwerg Greg, Gwerg Gwerg I think that's how you say it my Welsh has been tested to the limits with this kit I tell you oh no Greg sorry I can see it now Gwerg honestly Rachel clown oh, I'm going to put a little bit of lace under here I'm going to have to. I'm going to have to. It's vintage, man. Vintage. Got a bit of lace. Just, just a little bit. A bit of scrappy lace because it's cold. There we go. Plonk that, mate. Plonk. Down you go. Be plonked. There we are. Tiddle da da. Number three on top. I'm not sure what the significance of three is. Perhaps she's the third wife. <laughs> grief oh the other two are not under the patio will be all right oh my word we're talking about digging people again this is not good right okay that's my cue <laughs> to wrap it up when the conversation starts to go south okay let's pop the pin in there oh i can't see clean it off right the pin in because i will forget and then i'll go to bed and then i'll get in the morning it'll be just carnage there we go. Let's tidy everything out the way. Put these lovely pictures up out the way. And then we'll have a look at what we've done. Okay. Oh, I think these look great. Sorry, don't look at that. Look at these. How cool are they? And I think I've managed to pull off all four looks. I'm going to bring you in, guys. I'm going to bring you in. Here we go. How's that? There we go. So we've got shabby chic of sorts. We've got vintage. So you can see the difference between the vintage shabby chic and the vintage. The vintage is a bit more, you know, this is the academia side of things and this is the shabby side of things, but they're still both old, okay? And then we've got the botanical. She's definitely looking very botanical. Look at that plants on there. And then this lady here, we've gone steampunk with and I, I feel quite confident we've pulled it off. A little bit of metal on there. We've got her steampunk corset. We've got her sewing machine. She's empty. And then we've got our steampunk background. So there we go. So that's your brief today, guys. You've got your Friday a freebie. Don't forget to go and download that from Coffee. And then you've got your four themes. So we're still working within our um, Show Some Style collaboration. Um, and obviously it's our 100 Days Project. So go and have a go. Have some fun. Have a wonderful weekend. I'm off to Swansea in the morning. I will hopefully be back in the evening. Um, 
with the next installment but if not i'll be back on sunday so have a good one see you all soon guys thanks very much bye